So Ken hollers to me the other day and he says, hey, go shoot this house. It's in Perryville. Well, I know where Perryville is because that's where I live. Oh, I said, okay, I got to get to it. I get to get it. He said, no, 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 this is important because this is an impressive house. Well, let me tell you, he wasn't fibbing. This is an impressive place. This is the driveway coming in. I'm going to show you everything as I always do. This is a little dead end road. Now it goes maybe another mile past here. And then this way, it's maybe half a mile or so out to the main road. Make a right and you're in Perryville in about two miles. I'll put it here and you'll be able to see everything. This is 17 acres. You've got everything out here. You've got high speed internet. You've got great cell service. You've got municipal water. Water's right, right up there. By my truck, there's a, the meters right in the ground. This is Boyle County, so it's got the good schools. It was just in the paper that Boyle County schools are like, I don't know, fifth or tenth or something in the state. I'll put that down here in uh, uh, a picture of the article as well. But anyway, 17 acres. So this is our number one request, five to 20 acres in a nice house. And this house is impressive. So we're gonna just come through the gate here and I wanna take you for a little ride. What you're gonna see is the beautiful countryside that is central Kentucky. Of course, I'm a little bit partial to Perryville and Boyle County because I live here too. So we know the people in town, we know the school systems, we know the services are top notch. I want to point out the property line for you. There's a, a, a fence on this side, and then there's a fence on this side. And I'll put the plat here as well, so you can see that you go along the road up to this fence, and from this fence to this fence is, I don't know, I'm gonna guess 400 feet or so. I'll put it here. And then you see where the house is on the plat. You see the house here. Now you see the plat, so you realize that the house is about halfway or so towards the back or not quite halfway 17 acres is a lot of land and it goes way on back but you've got some beautiful beautiful road frontage here and these oak trees what could be better okay so now we're in the back and we've just come up the driveway here and i wanted to show you the backyard and and whatnot you've seen it all in the aerials but anyway there's the fence row right there and it goes all the way down and they've got this cut off here half and half so this is all nice cattle fence so if you had horses or cattle you could put that put those in the rear and then you'd have plenty of lawn here or divide it up any way you want heck you can do whatever you want there's a neighbor there and i know him he's a real nice fellow he's a farmer kind of guy so he's got four wheelers and tractors and chainsaws and all that stuff so if you ever get in trouble and you need somebody those are the kind of guys you want to have as neighbors. I'm, I'm kind of one of those guys myself. I've got the tractor and the Jeep and the four wheel drives and the chainsaw, right? So you don't need anything, give me a call. But anyway, that's the kind of neighbor you want to have. And the power comes here. So that's a rural electric line. That's a cross country rural electric line. And then they went underground here and then underground all the way to the house. 400 amp service, Woohoo! that's a big deal. Two 200 amp boxes. So that's pretty impressive and the property goes to the back so those trees are part of it and then they go back even farther i'll put an overlay here so you can kind of see where you go ken can show it to you when you come you give him a call his number's right here actually right there you give ken a call and uh, he can walk you back there i'm not going to walk back there though it's almost lunchtime and i'm hungry i'm tired i've been walking all day so the garage is impressively clean and the whole house is impressively clean. It's actually ridiculously clean. And I say that with a smile. I mean, seriously, when you come into a house that is that clean and that neat and that orderly, it's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And you should know about that. If you're gonna buy this house, you wanna know who lives here. You wanna know if it's been taken care of. They got beautiful landscaping. This I wanna show you, I wanna show you this porch. It's kind of a wrap around, not like a completely wrap it all around. But I'm not gonna show you over here. So I'm gonna show you that. I'll show you over here first. So it wraps around, but not all the way, which is nice because who needs 184 feet of porch anyway? Okay, I got a challenge for you. 
I, you got to tell me if you've ever seen a view this pretty before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But for me, this is pretty daggone impressive. So as far as you can see, this road goes up and over the hill. Then that's a dead end. There's only like three or four houses past that hill. And then look at this. Now you can see a house all the way down there. You see that white house? That's on the highway. Yeah, it's on 68 highway. But anyway, it's a scenic byway and it goes diagonal through Kentucky. In fact, it goes diagonally from the top right to the bottom. And uh, it's like the Route 66 of Kentucky. So tell me if you like the view or not. Put it down in the comments and subscribe. See that little subscribe button? Just click on that and subscribe to our videos. I know, enough jibber jabber, Brad. You want to go inside? Let's do it. All right, come on in. All right, so what are we going to see here? We're going to see a couple things. First of all, we're going to see house sets super well decorated and super well taken care of this is like um i i would use this for home office what would you use it for you see you got the uh real wood wide boards real pretty oak and then this great color on the wall it's the whole house is decorated in like um an early american primitive so th that color just goes perfect with the decor as you can see Dining room, obviously. Lots of big, beautiful windows. So that's a big deal. And a red door. Good feng shui. If you got a, a good look at me, you'd say, what does this guy know about feng shui? I actually read up on this stuff, and it's interesting. It's interesting stuff. And there's a lot to it. It's just, you know, good energy and whatnot. And a red door is really good feng shui. Got the living room. Lots of can lights. You know how I feel about can lights. Love them, love them, love them. They just make things look nice. And you don't have that chandelier, you know, blaring and glaring you in, in the face. They're kind of out of the way. And they just do these nice splashes of light. And look how nice it looks on the floor. Is this house ridiculously taken care of? Isn't that what you want? Of course. Color sink. Beautiful faucets. The cabinets are nice. They're maple and really well made. This is not, this is all, this is the real deal. I was just in a house like yesterday. Yeah, I was in a house yesterday. And it was a really nice high-end house and had really crummy cabinets. I was shocked. It's like, my gosh. So when I see good cabinets, it always makes me think, wow, the, you know, again, these people care. Got the little garage here. I think everybody wants one of those, don't they? But you can't put the KitchenAid in there. That's one of the best things in your kitchen. Guaranteed. Anyone who's got one, give me a heck yeah. You know it. Make cake and mashed potatoes and all that stuff. Here, back at the dining room. These walkthrough videos are great, aren't they? That's why people like to do business with us. That's neat as a pin. Is this ridiculous? Look, all the labels are facing forward. I, I got to goof on these people because they're, they're so nice. I got to goof on them. I told them, I said, I'm going to goof on you a little bit because the house is ridiculously clean and neat. I get a little half bath here. Have fun. It's big, actually. It's a long, long drink of water. And then the, uh, the laundry with the sink. But look how nice. Everything's all stacked neat and clean. Nice water heater. Well, let's just go out to the garage real quick while, while I'm here with you. Okay, so whatever you want to do out back here, and I'll show you. There's a really nice little patio back there. You can come in here if you're muddy. And then you got the laundry room. Here you go. 200 amp and 200 amp.
clean and neat. My garage does not look like this, just so you know. <laughs> and, and I have no idea what this is, but hot and cold running water out here in the garage. That's really cool. Want to wash the car, rinse off the dog. That's very cool. You know what? That's probably the first time I've ever seen that. 34 years in real estate. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's fantastic. That is a fantastic idea. Right off the bathroom. Oh, I love that. That is a cool idea. All right, I'm gonna take you upstairs and then I got the master bedroom. That's your, gonna be your nice surprise. Here's the deal. These people are ready to move and they've been packing. They got a lot of stuff, just like we all do. And they're prepared. They're apologizing. They're saying, oh, sorry about all the boxes. There's no way. You're, you're ready to go. That's gonna be a big plus for someone who's gonna be serious about buying the house. They're gonna know, well, when, when can we buy it? You get a cash buyer, they wanna close in two weeks. So they're ready to go. It wouldn't take long. So here's a bedroom, right? Or a craft room. And then you got a Jack and Jill or Hollywood bath. So here's another bedroom. And I love this color too. It's not teal and it's not blue. And it's, it's just a really nice early American color. So a beautiful bedroom here. All hardwood floors. Real oak. Tile. And then, of course, tile even in the closet. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And so, Jack, I call it Jack and Jill or Hollywood. What do you call it? You got a sink, shared hopper, shared shower. Beautiful, one piece. And then another sink. So, they say the secret to a successful marriage is separate bathrooms. So now you've got definitely separate sinks up here, even for your kiddos. All right, come on downstairs. And here is one of my favorite places in the house, the master bedroom. And why do I like it? Well, because it's got a lot of windows. I mean, it's got a lot of windows. It's beautiful. It's got the tray ceiling. And a lot of room. That's a queen, just to give you an idea of how much room's in here. That's a queen. Tons of room. Of course, central heat and air and all that stuff, all that jazz, all those details Ken's got. Just give him a call here and he can email you the data sheet on it. I mean, once you see the video, you don't need a data sheet really, right? But we can send one to you and then you'll know exactly what's going on. Okay, tile, ceramic tile or porcelain tile, even in the walk-in. Come on, seriously? Wow. I want these people to come to my house and tell me how to be organized and orderly and neat and everything. Real glass. And then you got the jet tub. A real jacuzzi brand and then the hoppers in here the WC so I really like this place look at this huh okay then one more thing I want to show you so this is like the one more thing house right oh just one more thing so that sound like uh, your kids or your grandkids oh I gotta just show you one more thing dad just one more thing is this patio out here look at this okay so here's here's where we started remember we started in the back there so that's where we started and we got this nice patio here. So what would you do with that? I can see a grill out there. I can also see a table. This is nice and shaded all afternoon and evening. So you can eat out here. There's tons of room. You can put in a pool, you can do landscaping, you can do whatever the heck you want. Trampoline, I can see a lot of things out there. If you've got kids or grandkids, you're out in the country. So you've got lots of options. You got options. When you're in the country, you got options. Okay, we're going outside, and then I'm going to bid you adieu. I get all French talking every once in a while. Check it out. Tell me if, if, you, if this is not just the nicest porch you've ever seen, the nicest view. Thanks again for watching. Fill out this box, get on our exclusive buyers list, and you'll be first to know about properties just like this. Our list gets this property. And also that little subscribe button over there, just click on that. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. We only do maybe one or two videos a week. You'll get an email. You can bag out anytime. And call Ken. The number's right here. And come and 
take a look at this property, see what historic Perryville is all about. You're looking for 17 acres and an immaculate house? This is the place for you. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching.